welcome to She Hoops and the second instalment of Masterclass with Madge. Uh, before we begin, I wanted to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the lands we all gather upon today and pay respects to elders past, present and emerging and extend those respects to any First Nations people who are present today. Um, another bit of housekeeping quickly, uh, Tess is, like last week, Tess is going to run skills for 35 to 40 minutes and then we're going to run a Q&A um, and get to know Tess again. Um, if you think of any questions, again, please type them into the chat for us and Tess will answer those at the end of the session. Uh, also, I just want to thank Munro Footwear Group for allowing us to use their facility again to film. Um, it's fantastic that we have them on board to support this program. Um, and yeah, now I'm going to pass it over to Tess to welcome you all and get the masterclass underway. Thanks, Loz. Welcome everyone. Thank you so much for jumping on and spending your Monday night with me. Um, those that are in Victoria, it's pretty hot today. So make sure you have a water bottle handy. Anytime you need to stop and grab a drink, go for it. But I will also give you drink breaks. So if you can wait until then, if you're not going to pass out and faint, um, please wait for the drink breaks so we can get um, as much out of this you know, 45 minutes as we can. It's going to be a little bit of a progression from last week, but if you weren't on last week, no stress. Um, you should still be able to do everything we do today. And then I'm going to get through as much as possible. So at times it might seem a little bit quick, but practice it during the week. You can go back, look at the session online. So you can practice all this stuff during the week so we can get even better next week. Um, but like last week, to begin with, we're going to start by warming up. All right, so some of the drills will be a little bit different. Um, there's a lot of ways to activate our body and our, all our different muscle groups. So, you know, pick the ones that you like to do the best. I'm going to give you a variety, but we are going to start with the glute bridge again. So if everyone can get down on their back. We're going to push through our feet, okay? Our back's on the ground, our knees are bent. We're going to push through our feet and lift our hips up to the ceiling and back down. We're going to do 10 of these double leg. Try and keep those arms off the ground so we're really just using our glutes and our hamstrings. Eight, nine, 10. And then we're going to lift our right leg off the ground and just go with our left leg for 10. One, if you need to push your elbows into the ground to give you a little bit of help, that's okay. Eight, nine, ten. Swap to our right leg. So everyone, it's super important that we warm up our body and activate our muscles because you don't want to get injured like me and have to stop playing basketball, all right? So it's really important we do everything we can to avoid an injury. 10. All right, everyone jump up. Now we're going to do some double leg squats. So we want our uh, feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Okay, so my feet are shoulder width apart. And then we're going to squat down to about 90 degrees. So my thighs are parallel to the ground. I want you to do 20 of these. Make sure again that we're pushing through our heels. And this one, we're actually activating every muscle in our leg. So it's a really good one. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Next one we're going to do is a RDL. We did this one last week as well. So we're balancing on one leg. Okay, we're warming up the back of our leg now to really protect our knee, our ACLs, all right? We're lifting one leg off the ground. We're tilting forward at the hips. We're pushing our head one way and our other foot the other way. So we're trying to really separate our body as hard as you can. Hinging at the hips, back nice and straight for 10, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Swap legs. Two, 
three, four, five. Good balancing. This one's also really good at warming up our ankles so we don't roll our ankle. We need to be nice and balanced because a lot of the time in basketball, we're doing stuff off one feet, like our layups. 10. Okay, we're going to warm up our calves. So if you can find a line or an imaginary line, we're going to jump both feet over and back of the line. Okay, so forward and backwards for 20. Eight, nine, 10, 11. In basketball, we want to be nice and quick. So we need to really speed up our footwork. This is a great way to do that. Whoa, I lost my line. All right, next we're going to put one foot in front of the line or your imaginary line and one foot behind, okay? And then we're going to scissor our legs. So my opposite arms up to my leg and then we're going to scissor and swap arms and legs across the line, okay? So I want you to do that as fast as you can. Really get those arms moving. The quicker your arms move, the quicker your feet will move. Go for 20, starting now. Eight, Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, I wanna do some more speed power stuff with you. So we could just got two more exercises. The first one is, we're reach, now that we're nice and warm, we're reaching up all the way as high as we can on our tippy toes. Then we're gonna swing our arms down. And as we do, we're gonna drop onto our feet. So we're swinging our arms down and catching down the bottom, okay? So up nice and high, catching down the bottom like a skier. Getting to that nice squat position. That's three, we're going for 10. The quicker we swing our arms back, the quicker our body's gonna move. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Great job. Last one. I need you to find a wall, but before we go find a wall, just watch me. So I'm going to my wall and I want you up on your tippy toes, okay? Pushing into the wall, nice and hard. Then I want you to bring one leg up into a right angle. So at a 90 degree angle. And we're just going to hold that for 10 seconds. So I'll give you five seconds to find a wall and then we'll start. Really push your hips towards the wall for this one. So squeezing your bottom at the top. One, two, three, four, five. Swap legs. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, then I want you to start with that left leg up in the air on our tiptoes. And we're going to swap feet as quick as we can with our high knees, all right? So left leg up, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Swap legs, right leg up, five sets, ready, go. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. I'm sure a lot of you were quicker than me at that one, but we're gonna keep doing that. Practice, practice, practice. It makes us quicker, makes us be able to jump um, higher, makes us more powerful, all right? So we're going to do that until we can do three sets of 10 each, okay? Grab a quick drink, cause I'm already sweating and then grab your basketball and we'll get stuck into the ball skills. All right, I can see all of everyone on my screen. I can see that you've got your ball and you're ready. All right. So remember with our dribbling stance, we're not, the start of this is going to be exactly the same as last week and then we're going to progress to some more harder stuff. So our dribbling stance, our knees are bent, my arm bars up, protect the ball, my back straight, okay? So I don't want anyone like this, all right? Knees bent, arm bar up, back straight, eyes up, okay? We're going to do 30 dribbles in our right hand. Let's go. Really pound the ball into the ground as hard and quick as you can. Remember, I love to see mistakes. It means you're trying your hardest. Good, swap hands, left hand, 
Arm bar up. I'm going to do 50, okay, of each dribble. You're going to try and get to 30. Last week we did, I did 50 and you did 20. I'm on 40. 50. Okay, next up we've got our ankle dribbles. Remember, bend your knees lower, okay? We're really using our fingertips for this one. Ready, set, go. Swap. Ten more for me. Fifty. All right. Next, we're doing our pound dribble single handed. So remember, we're bouncing the ball as hard as we can so it comes up and we catch it at our shoulder. Good job, everyone. Ten more for me. Woo, my forearm's burning. Swap hands. Good job. Way to push yourself. I've got 20 more. Whoa. Oh, I can see someone's got 30. All right, awesome. Next up, we're going to do our crossovers. So remember, crossover below our knee, okay? Hand on the side of the ball. Okay, I'm going for 50. You're going for 30. Ready, set, go. Four, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Now we're doing our wide ones. So you hang the ball out as wide as we can. Okay, ready, set, go. One. Good job, everyone. Awesome, keep those eyes up. On 30. Forty. Good job. Okay. Remember the um finding the line or your water bottle, I think we used last week. So get your water bottle or a line. Okay. Are we going to bounce? with our right hand first on our right foot. And then we're pushing the ball across our body, moving our shoulders to the left foot. Okay, back to the right foot, over the bottle to the left foot. Right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot. Good job. This one's really tricky. Okay, we're going for, I'm going for 50 starting now. Brilliant, everyone. Awesome. Okay, swapping it to our left hand. Let's just get the rhythm first, okay? So one bounce on our left foot, right in front of our left foot. Push the ball over to our right foot. Bring it back to our left foot. Push it over to our right foot. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. All right, ready, 
set, go. Well, I'm halfway. Forty six, forty seven, forty eight, forty nine, fifty. So everyone, even I'm finding that really, really difficult. Okay, so great job. My forearms are burning. I'm super puffed. We've just got a couple more to get through, then we can get a drink. Okay, everyone's doing awesome. Now we're going to have our water bottle on the side of us, okay? And we're going to bounce it on the side. So it's the same thing. Bounce it in front, pull the ball back, bounce it in behind. So pull it back, bounce it behind. Pull it back, bounce it behind. This is a little bit easier than when it's in front. All right, ready, set, go. I'm on 30. 10 more. Woo! Swap hands. Swap sides of the water bottle. Ready, go. No warm up this time. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Thirty one, thirty two, thirty three. Forty nine, fifty. Okay. Put that water bottle in front of you if you don't have one. No problem. Okay, now I'm gonna get you to get lower than what you're getting. Okay, so we wanna make sure our knees are bent. This is a really good drill for that one. So as I cross the ball over. I'm going to touch the water bottle, okay? Cross it over, touch the water bottle. It's easier when you're doing it quicker because you won't carry it, okay? If you don't have a water bottle, I want you to touch the ground so you're gonna have to get even lower. So cross, touch, cross, touch, cross, touch, cross, touch, cross, touch. Okay, hang that ball out. Very good. Try and keep those eyes up. Very picturesque with the blue sky behind that person. All right, ready? I'm going for 30 this time. You're trying to get 15 because this one's a new skill. Ready, set, go. Cross touch, cross touch. Good job, woo! Good job, everyone. Now when we do our crossover, we're going to lean to the side, we're crossing the ball over. So I'm crossing it from my right hand to my left hand. I'm gonna lean over to my right leg. Sorry, my left leg, almost like I'm doing a side lunge. Cross it back over, bend that knee, bend that right knee, lean over it, okay? So I'm getting nice and shifty. Move with the ball. Nice. Good. Move with that ball. Good. All right, let's go. I'm going for 30. You're going for 15. Get those crossovers below the knee this time. Below the knee so the defense can't steal it. I've got 10 more. Really good, everyone. All right, who's been practicing our dribble pyramid? Who can remember what that was? We're going cross through the legs, behind the back. Oh, actually, before we go through the legs, let's quickly practice it. So left leg forward, we're crossing over underneath that front leg. So exactly the same as if your leg wasn't there, 
Hand on side of the ball, pushing our fingertips to one another like we're trying to clap underneath that front leg. Keep going if you're making a mistake. Give it a try. Remember, if you're really struggling, you can just pass it over that front leg, okay? Good job. Swap legs, right leg forward, left toes are up. Sorry, left heels up. We're on our uh, back toes, nice and balanced. Good. Okay, now we're going to try our dribble pyramid. All right, so we're going cross, cross, through, behind. Cross, through, behind. Woo. Cross, through, oh man. Cross, through, behind. Cross, through, behind. Good. Good. If you can't go through the legs, you can go cross, pass it through, pass it behind, okay? Cross, pass it, body wrap. Cross, pass it, body wrap. For those that are doing it, let's try and go up to five and back down to one without making a mistake, all right? So one cross, one through, one behind. Two, behind, behind, woo. Three, one, two, three, three, cross it between, three behinds. Four. Five. Back down, four. Three. Two. Damn it. You're gonna beat me. Last one. One. Oh, awesome job, everyone. Grab a drink. Whew. Okay, when we've done that, we're going to go to our hoop and start on our shooting work. Okay, if you don't have a ring, I want you to practice just for now because we're going to do our form shooting. I just want you to practice shooting the ball up, getting it to spin as many times as you can and for it to land straight in front of you. Okay, remember up, on, in. Really use those legs. For those that do have a ring, if you feel up to it, okay, I want you to take your, your non-shooting hand off the ball today. So it's just one hand, all right? We're just trying to get our swishes with one hand, okay? If you're just starting basketball, that's fine. Keep your guide hand on the ball. But remember, you're trying to get three swishes from three spots by the time I get five swishes from three spots, okay? So we start right beside the basket. One hand in my shooting pocket, nice right angle. Swish. Remember, get those fingers in the ring. I'm on two. Oh, fingers in the ring really snap that wrist. Four. Oh, my fingers aren't in the ring, so they're not swishing. Use those legs. Five. I'm on the next spot now, which is straight in front of the basket. Four. 
Remember that when we're shooting the basketball, we want to aim for the back of the ring, okay? Back of the ring, get it nice and high. Oh. Two. Three. Four. Five. Last spot for me. One. E two. Three. Four. Five. Great job, everyone. Next, we're going to move straight into our mic and drill. Okay, so remember with the mic and drill, we start with our head under the ring. We want to aim for the top corner of the square of the backboard on your side of the hoop. Okay. So when I'm doing my right hand layup, I'm stepping with my left foot across my body, aiming for the top square, and it goes in every time. Okay. So fingers still in the ring after I aim for the top square. When I, whoa, when I'm doing my left hand layup, I am stepping off my right leg. So I'm jumping off my right leg. And when I'm doing my right hand layup, I'm jumping off my left leg. Okay. You're going to go to 20, all right? And I'm going to try and make 20 in a row, okay? I only get three chances last time. I couldn't get this done and someone got 32. I haven't forgotten. All right, ready, set, go. One. Oh, that's one chance for me. I've already missed. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, ah! 16, 17, 18, 19, oh, 20, I choked. Can everyone write in the chat box what they got in a row? Oh, I'm puffed. Did anyone get higher than 20? 40. 40 just then. Or have you been practicing it during the week? Awesome job, everyone. Brilliant. Okay. Now I'm going to do some funky jump shooting stuff with you that a lot of the NBA players do. Okay. So it makes our jump shot really good. It gives us momentum into our shot. The harder we bounce the ball, the better momentum we're going to get into our shot. So I just want you to take two, uh, if you're just starting basketball, just take one or two steps out. If you've been playing for a while, I want you to take five steps out. So that should be about the foul line. Okay, all we're going to do the first one, we're just going to pound the ball in our right hand. This is why uh, ball handling is so important because it transfers into every other part of the game. Okay, so we're pounding the ball in our right hand. As we catch it, we're just jumping on the spot. Okay, see how my right foot is, a I shoot with my right hand. So my right foot is a little bit in front of my left foot. Okay, so pound, pound the ball with your right hand, jump, catch, straight into our jump shot. Okay, so pound the ball, jump to catch, straight into my jump shot. Notice that when I'm shooting my jump shot, I'm quickly getting the ball into that up, into the on phase of my shot, okay? So I'm bouncing it and it's straight there, ready to shoot. So bounce, straight there, ready to shoot. All right, I'm gonna make five in a row. Let's see how many you can get while I make five in a row. One. Two.
three, four. Can she make it? Is she going to choke? Oh, five. Okay, good job, everyone. Swap it to our left hand. Grace, do you want to come rebound for me? Thanks. Swap it to our left hand. So if you're right-handed, you're going to pound it in your left hand and then you're going to bring the ball quickly up into the other side of your body to shoot it. So pounding, bring it across quickly into the on phase of your shot, okay? Pound, jump shot. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. All right, next one. Same drill, but we're changing the dribble. We're going in crossover. So starting the ball in our left hand, we're crossing it to our right, bringing it straight up into our shot. So cross straight up. That's one. Whoa. Make sure that we're jumping as we catch the ball with both hands. Bounce the ball nice and hard. So it gives us momentum up into our, oh, up into our shot. Good rebound, Gray. Two. Three, four, last one for me, five. Okay, next one we're doing. We can do this with a whole bunch of different dribbles, okay? So next one we're going to do is we're going cross, like we just did, through the legs, into our shot. So cross, through, quickly into your shot. If you can't go through the legs, I want you to go cross, body wrap into your shot, okay? So cross, through, into your shot. One. Cross, through, jump into your shot. Get those feet shoulder width apart on the jump so you're ready to shoot. No matter what type of dribble move I'm doing, before the shot, my shot is always exactly the same. That's five in a row. That's what I want you to get to. Okay. Next one, we're going to practice our pivoting. So can everyone take two big steps closer to the ring? Okay, so we're going to practice our, uh, our forward pivot first, all right? So with our forward pivot, you're facing the hoop. You're going to pivot on your right leg. So we're going all the way around. And now I'm facing the opposite way of the hoop. Okay. And then I'm going to forward pivot again. So a whole 180 degrees and face the hoop again. So we're going forward pivot on our right leg away from the hoop, forward pivot on our right leg in front of the hoop. And then we're shooting. So with this one, I want you to get your eyes on the ring as quick as you can to give you more of a chance of making the basket, all right? And see how as I'm pivoting, I'm already bringing the ball up into the on phase of my shot. So again, my shot looks exactly the same every time I'm shooting it. That's the goal. I'm on three in a row, four in a row, five in a row. Okay. Swap feet, so you're on your left foot. I'm a bit dizzy, to be honest. <laughs> so you're on your left foot now, okay? So we're pivoting on our left foot. I'm facing the ring all the way, facing the other, uh, exactly opposite the ring, and then pivoting again to face the ring, okay? So left foot stays down the whole time. Pivot, pivot, find the ring, shoot. Pivot, pivot. Find the ring, shoot. Pivot, pivot, find the ring, shoot. 
pivot, pivot, find the ring, shoot. That's five in a row. Thanks, great. Can you stay for the defense? All right, grab a drink, everyone. Great job. Um, I should be okay. I really need you for the defense. Oh, thanks. Thanks, mate. Okay, so last week, those that were here, we did our big to bigger slides across the um, width of the free throw line. Remember the jump ball circle? I did ask you to go practice this when this week when we weren't here. So Grace, you got seven last week. Can you try and beat that today? Let's go. I want everyone, you only have to do this one time just so I can see if we've made any improvement on it. All right? One time and then I'm gonna teach you something new. So remember we need one, two, three, four big steps. Measure out four big steps and we're sliding across that line. So remember big, bigger, big, bigger, big, bigger. Never bring your feet together. And we're doing as many as we can in 10 seconds. Keep those hands up, those knees bent. All right. Ready, set, you're going for seven, Grace. Ready, set, go. Good, Grace. Five seconds. Good job, what did you get? Stop, seven, nice. Did anyone beat their score? Put your hand up if you beat your score from last week. Oh, awesome. Well done. Okay, today I'm going to teach you how to do a drop step. Do you know how to do that? That's okay. So with a drop step, everyone should be facing me the whole time, okay? So we're in our nice defensive stance, hands up, knees bent, okay? In our bigger phase, all right? So as the offense comes at you and does one of the crossovers that we learned today, all right, we need to be able to stay in front of them. And the way we do that is with a drop step, okay? So I want your left leg is going to stay where it is. And it's really like the pivot we just did. So left leg stays on the ground. The right foot is going to drop about 45 degree angle, but my body is still facing the screen, okay? Now my right leg becomes my pivot foot, okay? And my left leg drops at a 45 degree angle. Left leg pivot foot, right leg drops, okay? Hands up. Good, drop step. Keep going. Good, Grace. Good. Good, guys. Okay, walk back to the screen. So we're going to go 10 drop steps, okay? Ready? I'm going to watch and make sure everyone's doing it right. Ready, set, go. Drop, 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 drop. Brilliant. Really good. Make sure we're keeping those legs nice and wide. Okay, so the drill is we're going to run up. Uh, you're going to run up five steps, okay? So one, two, three, four, five. We're going to throw our hands back and stutter our feet, all right? Then we're going to take two slides. One, two, drop step. The other way, one, two, drop step. Two, drop step. One, two, drop step. Okay, so I'll show you again. We're running up, closing out, ball. Two slides, big, bigger drop step. Big, bigger drop step. Big, bigger drop step. All right, that is a lot of information, but I think you guys can do it. Okay, so we're starting. Go as far back from the screen as you can. Good, good close out. Run towards the screen with your close out. Throw your hands up, yell out ball. Good, and now slide, big, bigger, big, bigger. Yep, drop step. Good, good, very good. Super impressive. Nice, Grace. As you can see, Grace is doing it for me. Okay, I want you to do four more of those and then we're done, all right? Four more, last thing. Good, really good, everyone. 
Nice. So at home, you can practice your ball handling, your shooting, your defense, okay? You can be doing something all the time to make you better. Awesome job, everyone. Okay, you can grab a drink and come and sit in front of the screen. All right, when you're having your drink, if you think of any questions that you would like to ask me, chuck them in the chat. I'll give you two minutes. If when I'm answering the questions, you think of a different thing that you'd like, feel free to chuck it in the chat. I'll try and answer as many as I can. Really, really great job today, everyone. I can see people have been practicing over the week. Two good questions already. How did you get motor? Oh, these are really good. Okay, so I'm going to start with T first. When you make an academy, what are the coaches looking for? So I, if I was a coach, I would be looking for the people that were really good teammates. So super encouraging of their teammates, okay, and someone that makes their teammates better. So it's not necessarily, especially at your age, it's not how good you are right now, okay? It's how much you want to get better your work ethic, your work rate, and your ability to make other people better and feel included. So that's what I would definitely be looking for as a coach. But the most important thing I think is your work ethic. So your ability to work really hard and try your best, no matter how good or bad you're playing, you always have the same consistent level of effort. Cool, they're flying in now. Um, what rep team did I play for? I actually grew up in country South Australia. So I played for a team called the Eastern Mavericks growing up. Now I play NBL one for the Bendigo Braves. So that's my um, local team in Victoria. Who would I like to meet dead or alive basketball play? That is such a good question. I'm going to have to say Michael Jordan. He's my favorite or LeBron James. I, I have two dogs, one's named LeBron and one's named Kobe. So I think that kind of proves who I suppose I'd like to meet. But I think number one would be Michael Jordan. I have I would say female basketballer, but I've actually been so lucky to play against the best female basketballers in the whole world. Obviously, Lauren Jackson's one of them. So she would probably be my number one player to meet if I didn't already know her and if she wasn't my friend, okay? And I've also got to play with Brittany Griner. Um, I've played against Diana Taurasi, Penny Taylor I've played with. So I'm really lucky that I've got to play with all those amazing females. Our next game is on, um, it's this Sunday versus Bendigo Spirit, but unfortunately I'm injured, so I won't be playing. But the Melbourne Boomers are playing Bendigo this Sunday. It would be a really good game. I, when did you start playing basketball? This is my first rep season. I'm eight. Awesome. I started playing when I was seven and I started playing because my older brother Ben played and I wanted to be exactly like him. And he actually grew up to be a professional basketballer as well. So you're never too late. It's never too late to start playing on a team and it's really never too early. All right. You can learn. We had people on the Australian squad that only started playing basketball when they were 15. All right. So it's all about that work ethic and how, uh, how much you want to get better in a short amount of time. Um, who do I look up to? I look up to all my amazing teammates, in particular, Kayla, George, and Christy Wallace. Um, Wally, those that have watched Christy play, she tries super hard every single play of the game. She's going all out. And Kayla is a really great leader. So I love learning things from them. And then when I grew up playing, I looked up to Lauren Jackson. So she was my idol and I wanted to be just like her. Um, next. 
Someone asked me, do I have a pre-game food that I eat before a game? Yes, I try and eat oats before a game. So porridge and I mix it with um, yogurt and berries. So that's carbs, proteins and fats, everything I need um, to perform at my best. But that's only four hours before the game. Okay, so I have a really big breakfast as well. And then I have a really good lunch. I usually like to have a salad sandwich with some type of um, meat in it, like chicken. Um, and then I have those oats before the game. So how you fuel your body as a professional athlete really determines how well your body is going to work for you. So it's really important that I eat a really good, healthy diet, drink heaps of water, okay, so that I'm able to perform at my best. Um, as captain of the Australian team, how do you motivate your team when it is tough and you need to calm down your team? Great question, Paul. Or if Paul or your whoever's asked that. Great question. Paul's phone. Um, okay, so I try and get my teammates. We're they're all pretty good at it already. Otherwise, they wouldn't be on the Australian team. But I try and get them to quickly focus on the next most important job. So what's within their control that they can fix in that moment? Um, and that usually gets everyone nice and calm and focused on what's the most important thing that they can control in that moment. Because really, it doesn't matter what's happened in the game so far. It's only what's within your control. And that's the next most important thing. So quickly refocus on the next task. Great question. Um, how much did I practice a day to get into the boomers? So before I played for the boomers, I actually played... Um, I grew up, I went to the Australian Institute of Sport, and then I played for the Bendigo Spirit, and then I played for the Boomers, and then I went overseas and played in Europe, and then I came back and played for the Boomers after I hurt my knee, okay? So the first way I got into the Australian Institute of Sport, how many hours did I train a day? Um, I would probably have done something for four hours every single day, but that only started when I was a teenager. Um, so I would either shoot, go to team practice, um, do weights or recovery. Um, but yeah, definitely four hours a day was taken up doing basketball. If basketball didn't exist, what sport would I, should you play? Um, for, I think if I didn't play basketball, I would play AFL. I reckon that would suit me the most. I tried to play netball, but I was a bit too... Um, I wanted to run around the court too much because on basketball, you get to do that. So I think AFL would really suit me. Um, do I have any other siblings that play sport? Yes, my older brother, Ben, he played professional basketball. He played for the Sydney, uh, got to say the Sydney Flames, the Sydney Kings, um, South East Melbourne Phoenix. And he spent five years over in Europe playing as well. And then I also have a younger brother, Jack, and he played AFL football for seven years, I think, for Collingwood. Um, and now he's moved back to South Australia. I also have a sister as well. And growing up, she played state netball and softball. So my parents were super busy driving four kids around to four different basketball stadiums. So very grateful and thankful um, to them for everything they did to me so I could fulfill my dream. So make sure... Every time you go to your basketball game or to a training or any other sport training, you say thank you to your parents or whoever took you to that game, okay? Because you couldn't do it if, they didn't if you didn't have their support. Um, what do you do with your nerves when you're on the court? Much like what I do with my teammates is I, get, I focus on the next most important thing that I can control. And usually that's defense, okay? So I focus on following the scout, so the rules that we have on defense um, and stop my player from scoring. And then the way to finish the defensive play is to rebound. So I focus on defense and rebounding and that usually gets my head right, right back into play and I'm able to do um, something good on offense. What's your favorite moment in a basketball game? Ooh, good question. I really like the start of the game um, when the ball goes up, I think, because all the nerves get released. And then, I mean, if you win, I love the end of the game. But um, 
Now, I really love the whole game, but that's a really great question. I've never thought of it much. Let me think about it and I'll get back to you next week. How do I keep warm on the bench? Um, I think it's really important that you be a really good teammate when you're sitting on the bench. So the way I stay engaged and warm, and I think it gets my adrenaline going, which keeps me warm, is by cheering on my teammates that are on the court, okay? Doing the best that they can. So that when I'm, I'm subbed on, I'm ready, I'm engaged in the game, I know what's happening, um, and I can go out and do my best when it's my turn, okay? So make sure you're really encouraging your teammates when they're on the court. Oh, good question, um, Emily. I'm gonna do this next week with you, so I'm stretching at the end of the session, okay? But my favorite one is, I'll show you now if everyone can do this after we get off the call, okay? It's called the pigeon, all right? So we get down on the ground, Oh, our right leg, I'm sure you will be able to keep it at a right angle, okay? Is down on the ground. All right, and then we're leaning over that front right leg as far as we can. And it's a really good one to stretch out the glute, which is this muscle here. Okay, so everyone make sure you do that on both sides of your body when we get off. Okay, we've got a couple more. How much do I like basketball? Oh, I love it. Live and breathe it. Um, I wouldn't still play if I didn't love it and think I could keep getting better. So. Just like you, my number one goal every single day is to try and get better and learn something new. And I've been playing professionally for 15 years. So it's super important that you keep an open mind, okay? And you keep practicing your skills to become the best player that you can, all right? So that's how much I like basketball. Um, I hope that answers your question. Okay, I'm gonna do three more. What is my dream as a basketball player? Well, my dream was to go to the Olympics. So I'm going, um, I've been to one, but I'm gonna try really hard um, to go to the next one as well. So that's what I'm, I'm really trying to get better, my knee better, better skills, better shooting, so I can um, make that team. Someone asked me, who my coach's favorite player is. I don't think I should answer that one, but that was funny. <laughs> um, last one. I think I've answered all these. Who was my favorite coach? I, I love all my coaches. I think you can learn something new from every single person that coaches you. So whether you like your coach or not, try and approach it with a, with a mindset that you can learn something from that coach, okay? And they're trying their absolute best just like you are, all right? So you can always learn something from someone. So make sure you go into every situation with that type of open mindset. All right, thank you so much for spending your another Monday afternoon with me. Um, I got nice and sweaty. I hope you guys did too. Okay, I really look forward to seeing you all back on the chat next Monday night. Tell your friends, tell your family to jump on um, and we can have some more Thanks, fun then. Tess. Oh, you're so welcome. Um, but until then, keep practicing what we did today so we can move on next week. All right, great job, everyone. Thank you. See ya. See ya. Thanks, Tess. Thank you. Thanks, Tess. Thank you.